I got basically it's an option A, option B kind of thing. If you could do a buddy comedy cop movie, would your partner be Brian or Esposito? That's an excellent question. Before I answer that, <laughs> I completely forgot. Uh, I brought something for you guys who were asking questions, and I forgot to give it to you. So, what do you want to do? First of all, does anyone have a Sharpie that I can borrow? And by borrow, I mean you will never see it again. I'll take it. You got, you got one? Throw it up. I got one too. Right here. I'm going to be honest, because we just met. I do not want to start this whole thing that could be magical on a lot. I was not paying attention. I looked down at this pile of stuff I brought, and I went, oops. And everything was over my head. Okay, okay. If you could make a buddy cop movie, who would your partner be? Option A, Brian. Option B, Esposito. Those are the only choices I have? <laughs> oh. That's a really hard question. That's like a flip a coin question because there's so much comedy to be mined from each one. Um, I would have to do two episodes. <laughs> Do one body comedy with John and then one body comedy with Seamus. They are both incredibly funny, but for incredibly different reasons. Um, shh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I brought this for you. Would you? Yeah. Thank you. Um, I, yeah, that's a good book. They're both very funny. Uh, do you remember the episode of Castle where we had a, a camera crew following us in a documentary style? Yeah. Okay, there was so much comedy to be mined from just the fact that there's a camera in your face. And every character took that in a different way. And uh, John Huertas in particular was just on fire <laughs> because he was just being so extra cool and smooth. And if the slightest thing happened to make him look not cool, he really would like, come on, dude! <laughs> um, he was so great about it, uh, and then Seamus is an excellent straight man, and at the same time, he can do goofy while still being the straight man, which is a, which is a gift. It's like being avid with a hint of pistol. It's a, it's a, it's a tough game to play. I can hear my voice echoing back at me, and my dulcet tones. <laughs> Ask some questions. Over here, I'm, I'm going to put my back to you because I'm going to sign some stuff right now, but keep talking. I swear I'm listening. Hi, Nathan. My name is Kay. I love you. Now I'm watching. Own character, what would it be? Create my own character of anything I want to do. Uh, it would be. <laughs> I once read a comic book called Last Man's Hand, and it was about a guy, I think he was an astronaut, it was a while back. He was an astronaut, went in space, he got frozen, like Buck Rogers style, came back, and there's no men left on the planet. <laughs> These are my sides from work. Whoa. 
I will give these to you if you promise not to put them on the internet. <laughs> Until after the episodes air. How's that sound? Hashtag, I shouldn't be doing this. Um, to the folks who already asked the question, I'm gonna, I think we're comfortable with the honor system here, like you. I'm gonna put these right here, just to the folks that already asked, there's, there's three there at least. No running. No running with scissors. Hang on, we got a couple more here. So some of those are the little size, and some of these are, some of these are my little, um, my little business card. Have you guys heard about this? Yes. Yeah. Who does it? Oh, my business card. Okay, really quickly. Really, really. This is certified. You just met Nathan Philly. <laughs> How did you do? And then there's a checklist running from, great, he was impressed. And now he your friend. <laughs> All the way down to, there are charges pending. I believe we're on this side. Yep. Hello. I have two questions, if that's okay. Um, my first one, I just want to know if you speak French, because I don't know if I should ask my question in English. Je travaille au bibliothèque. Avec le pomme de terre. So, you can put that in your chapeau. So. Give back, spring clean. 
I remember when I was turning 35, I was talking to my mom and I said, I don't know if I'm really at where I was wanting to be by 35. I had goals and 35 is my year. But it, 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 by 35, this is where I want to be. This, I don't think I'm there yet. I don't think I'm there yet. And she said to me, I'll never forget this. Nathan, you're 34 today. <laughs> you're the best mom. Okay. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, I'm trying to convince my mom to watch Firefly. If you had to try and convince someone to watch it, what would you say to them? <laughs> if I had to convince someone to watch Firefly, I would take someone who has seen it, and in front of the person I was trying to convince, I would ask the other person, how upset are you that Firefly got canceled? <laughs> And I love your glasses. I love your glasses. Yes, yes. Hey, then, uh, my question is about Castle. Um, you guys have done a lot of great theme episodes, and there have been a lot of great props that have gone along with that. So my question is, um, if you could take a board, you can castle from the set, what would it be and why? If I could take a prop from Castle's set? You already have stolen? <laughs> I know exactly what it is, actually. <laughs> I've already kind of called dibs on it. I want it really bad, I really like it. On the piano in the castle log is a beautiful photo they took when we first started filming the pilot in New York City of me with Susan, with Susan Sullivan right behind me, kind of draped over my shoulders. It's a little black and white photo, it's really pretty. It's on a silver easel. <laughs> Did you say, watch your right hand or wash your right hand? Uh, that's what I'm taking. It's a photo of me and Susan Sullivan, and I'm going to take that and frame and all, because I'm going to put it on my piano when I get one. Good morning. Good morning. First, I absolutely adore you, Nathan. Thank you for dressing up. That's a big deal. And, uh, I absolutely adored your interpretation of Dog Gary as well, and I wonder if we have and I wonder if we ever brought you on the stage, Shakespearean or not, what role would you like to play? Good question. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what. Here's what I'd like to do, because I already know all the songs. <laughs> I was doing an episode of Desperate Housewives and I was standing with Kyle McLaughlin. What a wonderful man. And we were just kind of chatting. He said something about since the time I did Oklahoma. I said, you did Oklahoma? He said, yeah. I said, I did Oklahoma. <laughs> he said, I said, who'd you play? He said, Will Parker. I said, I got the Kansas City on Friday. <laughs> and then he and I started singing the whole song. But as a Will Parker duet, <laughs> that was mentioned. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Hi. Um. I didn't hear a word of that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, I was going to question on Firefly. When you first heard that it was going to be sort of space cowboys, what were your original thoughts on that pairing? We're doing a lovely job. I remember reading the admitted treatment, we didn't even have a script for the pilot.